Our farm basics time today is going to be based around the cost of farming. And whenever we start talking about costs, Brian's kind of a numbers guy. He's all excited. He's got a spreadsheet all ready to go well, here I do. with some actual costs. And you know, talking about rent and what's a fair rent, I just said, all right, let's just look at what our costs are. I mean, realistic costs for this year on this ground. And even if, let's say we were to get 200 bushel corn here, that's pretty good. Well, at $3.25 this fall, that's $650. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't sound bad when you think about what the gross is, but there's a big but here, isn't there? Because exactly. Because the gross a lot of times is not even close to what the net is. Okay, so let's just say that we're gonna try to shoot for that 200 bushel corn. So here is what we would invest in this ground right here as it sits right now. Let's say that we spend $250 a bag on seed corn. At 32,000 plants per acre, that's $100 for the seed. We're gonna throw a biological seed treatment on it. It's called quick roots, that's six bucks. Then we're gonna use capture LFR insecticide for seven. We're gonna use a pre-emerge herbicide for 15. We're gonna spray Roundup twice for seven. Status for $8. Uh, we'll use a foliar fertilizer for 10 bucks. We'll use a couple dollars worth of spray adjuvants and $7 worth of fungicide, foliar. Then in addition to that, we're gonna spend some money on fertilizer. We're gonna spend about $100 on fertilizer, $8 on soil testing. And then we figure some of our costs, $75 in equipment, $20 in repairs, $25 in fuel, $25 in drying expense, and that's assuming that the corn's gonna get pretty dry this fall. $25 seems like a lot, but it doesn't go far when you talk about drying corn. Then $15 for crop insurance, $20 for interest. So by the time that's all said and done, that's $450 for expenses. So you say, oh, well, that's pretty good, we got $200. Okay, well, don't forget, that's us getting 200 bushel corn, which, I mean, 200 bushels in our area, that's, you've gotta have pretty decent ground, you gotta do the right things. But anyway, it leaves $200. Here's the problem. The, if the landlord, let's say, wants $275, what does that mean? That means we lose 75 bucks. So what's fair yeah, to charge or, for rent? Or if the landlord wants $180, that means you've done all the work, take, taken all the risk, and, and worked for a whole year, and you get 20 bucks in the end. So you're, yep. not, you're not getting enough to pay yourself. And, and we see some farmers falling into that trap of, well, okay, here's what I have to do, but they're forgetting about, you know, you really do want to walk away with a little bit of income at the end of the year too. And if you say, well, what's a fair price? And well, I want to make $50,000 on the year. Okay, well, if you're going to make 50,000, you've got to divide that into the ground that you're farming. If you're farming a thousand acres, that means you have to have at least $50 of profit on every acre just to pay yourself $50,000 at the end of the year. But anyway, here's my whole point. If let's say this was like it used to be where everything was on shares. And what I mean by that is, let's just say it was 50-50 shares where the landlord gets 50% of the crop, but he also pays, he or she also pays 50% of the expenses. All right, so 50-50 on this deal, if I had $200 worth of profit, then basically $100 is gonna go each way. Okay, so really a fair rent would be $100 an acre. Well, if we told almost any landlord in our county, yeah, we're willing to pay $100 an acre for cash rent, they'd say, um, no thank you, the average cash rent in our county is over $200. Okay, so all of a sudden that means that anybody renting ground in our county is gonna lose money. And the reason why we bring this up, we like to talk a little about the cost to farm. So especially if you're a non-farmer and you say, well, it looks like those farmers are doing great and they're, they're making all kinds of money. No, farmers are investing lots of money back into everything that they're doing. And by the time it all gets said and done, uh, yeah, we, we brought in $650 an acre and then it all goes out. That money all gets spent. It's good for the economy that the money all gets spent somewhere. But the problem is at the end of the day, the farmers got to make something. And right now in agriculture, there aren't a lot of farmers who are making much money at all. So as you're watching farmers go to it this, this year, just kind of keep that in mind. These guys are working with not a whole lot of profit this year uh, and still trying to do the best job they can. Well, one of the things they are trying to do the best job with is controlling our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 